Hello, and just want to say congratulations on getting access to this video course on how to take your online course and setting it up on WordPress so that you can begin to accept sales. All right, so let's jump right in to the introduction here. Now, I want to make things clear here. And the condition of this course is that we assume that you already have an online course and the videos on hand. So this video course is not about how to create an online course. It's just merely taking that course and setting it up on your WordPress site. So now that we've gotten that clarification out of the way, what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. This is video number one, video number two, we're going to talk about the big problem. So before we dive in and talk about how to, you know, set things up and all the technical aspects of everything. We want to tackle a major problem and a major reason why most people do not consume your course. We'll dive into it a lot deeper, but statistically they say that only about 10% of your online course is consumed, meaning most of your students will come in, they'll buy your course and they'll only consume about 10% and then they'll quit. So we need to combat that, right? We need to set the experience up so that we can increase that number. So that is what that video is all about. And as you can imagine, that is crucial to tackle before we talk about the technical aspect of setting things up, because actually setting things up is actually very easy. Video number three, we're going to talk about the experience. So once we understand the problem, we need to understand how to make a better experience for your students so that they consume the online course from start to finish. And then we'll talk about the technical aspect in video number four, such as the WordPress LMS plugin and LMS stands for learning management system. And it's basically, a system that allows you to set up your online course. So it's the environment that surrounds the course. So once I've given you a broad overview of different plugins that are out there and available to you, video number five, we'll talk about recommended WordPress LMS plugin that we highly recommend. And of course, video number six, we're going to talk about consumption boost. So based upon the big problem, how do we not only combat it, but boost the consumption rate? How do we get people to engage with this to continue to the end? And of course, video number seven, we'll talk about engagement. How do we get people to engage with your online course? And last but not least, we got video number eight, which is prestige and fun. And all that means is trying to make people feel good about themselves as they complete your course. And we'll talk more about that and why that's important and all of that. So let's talk about getting started. What do you need? So you obviously need to have your course. You need to have the videos in hand. So the video files, the MP4 files, whatever video files that you have, you need to have them in hand. Now, if you don't have this already, that's fine. You can do this later. We're not really going to discuss this, but you will need to take those videos and you will need to upload them to a video hosting company. So for example, we've got Vimeo.com. We recommend that highly. And Wistia.com is another video hosting. And once you set all these up, you can take the embed codes and then of course, and enter it into LearnDash or whatever WordPress LMS plugin that you desire to use. And of course, you'll need to have some money to purchase a WordPress LMS plugin. There are some free ones out there, but what we found over the years is that free is not always the best. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you put yourself on a good platform that is constantly updated and grows as you grow. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.